Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. I wanted to wear my glasses because my eyes are a little sore. Um, uh, and it's probably because I've been wearing my glasses for the past two days and I haven't really worn them much in um, December. I didn't really wear them much in December, but now the blue ray blue light thing is actually annoying me, so I'll take them off. Um, yeah. Welcome to the first vlog of 2020. It's not going to be a crazy vlog. Honestly, all it is uh, is me checking in. Um, I've got a couple of things that I need to do. I just came back from the shops because when I tried to cook two nights ago, I realized, oh my gosh, I'm running low on meat. And we know that in January, we're trying to get ourselves right, eat right, be right, cook in the house a lot more because nemala eco. You know, we don't have money to be buying takeout and all of that stuff. So I went out this morning to buy meat. And um, so I wanted to catch you guys up on essentially what I've been doing. Um, right now, currently, it's the 6th of January. Currently in South Africa, things are bad. The cases are bad. We have roughly about 500 deaths from COVID a day. Um... Uh, Gauteng is a crazy hot spot because people are coming back from their holidays um, from your Cape Towns and your Eastern Capes and, and Western Capes and all of that and now the cases are going up in Gauteng and the cases are coming down by the coast. Crazy, right? Um, so, yeah, so it's kind of bad right now. Uh, so I try to keep in the house and stay in the house as often as I can. With that being said, that's why I haven't gone to cut my hair in a while because I'm just not ready. And I feel like because I'm not ready, you guys are just going to have to suffer seeing me looking like this, <laughs> really. Um, it's fine. I really don't care. Uh, my, my health comes first. Um, and lately, uh, I've, I've been feeling kind of uh, really, really meh. But fortunately, by the grace of God, I'm fine. Uh, and my family is also fine and I'm thankful. Um, I do also feel quite sad for people who have lost members of their family. I've spoken to two friends who've lost their moms. It's bad. It's bad. I don't even want to talk about it, but uh, it's, it's really bad. So I'm trying to just stay in the house most of the time and only go out. Oh my God. I just realized I was at Woolworths that I forgot to buy my tea, my green tea. And I probably have like one left. Fantastic. Nevertheless, um, I wanted to show you this because I get DMs on my Bible quite a lot. I'm sitting here and I'm going to go through some... This room was a mess with paper bags and plastic bags. So I'm going to go through um, that stuff with you now before we go downstairs together. Um... I'm going to go through that stuff, some of which it's journals. I normally buy journals and daily planners at the beginning of the year for that year. And I recently just purchased one which will arrive next week. It's so nice. I saw it on Refilway. Refilway, uh, I forgot her surname. I'll put it down here somewhere. I saw it on her page and I asked her where she bought it and she told me that she bought it from a site called Boss Plus. I'll also add that here. It's a, it's a South African site. The planner looked fantastic and I've been struggling to find a good planner for um, my Her Story stuff. I do have a planner for um, just got little stuff. It's a simple planner that I got from a uh, typo. But not only did I get a planner, I also got journals, something like this. This was last year's one. I'll, I'll tell you about this. But this one is this year's one. And um, this is the journal that I use in conjunction with this. So this is what, what I got reminded of. A lot of the time I'm asked about when I post up my Bible phrases on uh, Bible verses of the day on Instagram I'm always asked about my Bible and I've shown this Bible multiple times on the channel so I'm going to do it again now this is the power of a praying woman Bible 
Prayer and study helps by Stormy or Martian. It's just an, a, a new international, what do they call them? New international version. Uh, Bible, I've had this Bible for years and years and years. I do not know if, it, if you can still find it. But this Bible is amazing because as much as it has um, the Bible verses, chapters, phrases, it also has just little prayers and study helps that are on the side. Like for instance, if you look at this, um, this is where I've jotted things down, but the white side is essentially the verses and, and, and then the purple side is, uh, the study helps and that kind of stuff. Sorry, the lighting was going to adjust, of course, but I really like it because of that. You know, you can read, um, the study help version bit, and then you can, uh, uh, read your verse for the day and then pray around that. And it helps you, teaches you also how to pray, which is really, really good. Um, so last year, every time I look at my Bible in the evening and I look at the verse of the day, I always write it down. And then I write my thoughts around that verse and my prayers around that verse. And last year I did it in this, uh, journal. This was a sort of a mindfulness journal. I spoke about this journal in one of my videos and I used this journal to essentially write down those uh, uh, daily sort of Bible verses and, 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 um, and, and prayers and affirmations and all of that stuff. I really, really connected with um, my creator. I connected in my faith quite a bit last year. So because this one was almost full up, I opted to pick up another uh, journal. But now this one is just plain. And I started using it about two days ago. Started writing in it in uh, my prayers and all of that um, every time I pray. So I normally put all of these together like so. They sit in a specific spot in the house and I picked this color because I like them to correspond because I'm bougie like that. Okay. Um, and these ones were the ones from last year. This one I do still use. I haven't really dived into it as much. This one is sort of like an idea, um, ideas, video ideas. This is for Jessica Cleo. So it's like video ideas, whatever. It's like a sketch pad, but I used it. Uh, I bought it last year and it's made of cork. I bought it last year from Typo. It was really, really nice. I actually saw them still now and I bought it about, for about 150, if I'm not mistaken. And then this year, also from Typo. Oh, 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 wait. From Typo and, from Typo and Mr. Price. Um, this is a sort of like DIY projects kind of thing. Ring binder. It's a journal to track your DIY projects from start to finish. Um, I'm not really much of a DIY girl. I feel like DIY, DIY Yolanda or Yolande on <laughs> YouTube. She's more of a DIY girl. Um, but for me, I literally just picked it up for projects that I have. Uh, throughout the year and I really love it because it separates uh, things you can see like it has project number and then you write things down and then you jot down things you get like a, a, a spot for images inspirational images or sketches so I would use this as like a, um, a project vision board kind of thing so that was the whole idea behind it but each each page is uh the same thing so you get the project number at the top and then you write it down it tells you the tools you'll need about this project blah 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 for me it just might even be for tasks and not necessarily projects so i really liked it and um the ring binder style is also i'm quite a fan and then my daily planner my planner for um just got little stuff so for content for Just Got Leo is this one. Very simple, very, very simple, but really, really nice when you open it. Also ring binder format, ring binder setup. And what I like is that it's got the dates on the side, the months on the side. And then it's got little, I don't know how to show you guys this. It's got little um, 
be a good human. K for April. It's got little pages in between. Where's my central uh, control plus Z for real life? Uh, it's got like little pages in between, you know, where you can, and it's ring binder format, so you can stick in other notes. I can take out something from here and put it in here. Kind of love it. I really, really think it's nice. Plus, the color is also fantastic for me. Works really great for me. Uh, be kind to your mind. Quality over quantity. Really, really love this. It's, it's simple, but it's also wheel of daily emotions. I really like it. Halfway there. Really cute. So I picked that up from Typo. And then for right here on this desk, right here from Mr. Price, I, I could tell that the way things are looking, oh my God, it's starting to thunder. The way things are looking, you're probably going to be working from home again quite a bit for at least the first half of the year. The way that it's looking, for real. Um, so I picked up a just a desk sort of planner that has written my week. And I think I might have to open this so that you guys don't get the, the clay. This is from Mr. Price. It's essentially just got flowers on it, which I think is so cute. I really think it's cute. And then you just, uh, when you're done with a certain week, you just lift and you're on to the next one. This one I really loved because kind of matches with this planner, which I got from Typo. Uh-uh, I'm lying. I got this one from Poetry, and they are still available. So this is the one that I'm essentially going to start my year with. And this is going to be just for the minimal things, the minimal notes and tasks and things. I swear to you, planners and journals work for me. I don't know if some people are not planners and journal people. That's fine. We're each to their own. But planners and journals for me work. Honey, they work. Okay? That's all I'm saying. So in terms of what I use when I am writing things down, I'll tidy up my desk and I'll show you everything. I've got all of that here. Brush pens, all of that stuff. I have it here and also in parts of my desk. And then it's getting really dark outside. It's, it's getting quite ominous. Quite, quite. And then the book that I'm currently reading, this is my second book for the year. My first book was The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. What do you mean? It's one of the best books, one of the best books um, I have read. Probably going to be one of the best books for 2020. And if I find nothing better than that book, that will probably be my number one book for 2020. And then I am currently reading, started reading this yesterday. I'm about 70 pages in. This is The Invisible Girl by Lisa Jewell. Matches quite nicely with my dress. Um, and this essentially just talks about a girl who uh, goes missing and they assume she, she's a girl who stays like in a really um, lawny suburb or somewhere in England. She goes missing and then they start to suspect one of the neighbors who's a very reserved, recluse kind of guy who is also, you know, and he says it's not him because he's celibate and he has been for years and years and years and he doesn't da da da. And yeah, so far it's quite interesting, quite intriguing. It follows um, different points of view. The girl who went missing, Sapphire, uh, one of the neighbors, Kate, and the guy who is being accused, his name is Owen. So yeah, haven't really read much. It's getting interesting, uh, but haven't really gone too much into, too far. Haven't really gone too far into it to actually tell you. But the cover is actually awesome. I like this cover. Every time I keep looking at it, I'm just like, oh, it's actually a nice cover. So what I'm going to do, uh, what else do I have? We might as well, we might as well just clean up this room, I think. So I'm going to take out, I'm going to take out each and every single thing that's in here. All right. In here we have got, which I probably bought a little over a month ago, these lashes from Eyler. Um, I got these full mink lashes such a long time ago, probably like three weeks ago. I haven't touched. Don't even judge me. And then I also got this uh, Maybelline Lasting Fix. What? Makeup setting spray. I heard that it's really good. I was with my sister when I bought that. 
Um, this, which is a fave. You guys know how much I love this concealer. And then I've got a Pearl and Beauty Quick Dry um, Antiperspirant. Obviously, from exclusive books, the most recent purchase is this. This is Love and Color by Balu, Bolu Babalola. Bolu Babalola. And this is the January read for Brown Skin Reads. This is our January read for uh, the book club. Haven't started. As you can tell, I'm still reading this. But eventually at some point I might have to incorporate the both of them. But this one I love because it's uh, essentially about mythical tales from around the world. So it's different stories in one book. And apparently one of the stories is a retelling of the author, Bolu Babalola. Her, some, some tales from when she was growing up that she heard of from her parents or something like that. So quite interesting. Really, really excited to read this. It doesn't have that many pages. Let's see. Ah, oh, this is going to be short. It's got 280, 284 pages. So that's going to be quite short. This one, on the other hand, has about almost 400 pages. So this is going to be quite long. So I'm going to try and finish this this week, or at least in the next two or three days. And then we're going to move on. We're going to move on. And then uh, this one is one that I wanted to get for quite some time. This is The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson. Cursed at birth, exiled as a child. Now she may be the only one with the courage to save them. So look at that cover. Stunning. I am going to tidy up this mess right here. Get rid of all the stuff. And then I am... Then we're going to go downstairs. Okay. And I'm going to get my life. But first, let's get into tidy. done thank the goodness so in here was my pens so what i opted to do is i've got this little um container here that i can open now i've got this which is where i ended up there were cookies in here a very long time ago i ended up transferring the pens that were in there and i put them in here and then in here i've got just my lip balm from lanolab and i've got uh mints for my mouth to keep my mouth busy while I work a lot of the time and then just the moisturizer I put them in there makes it just look a little bit neater without having them all laid out on there and then this sits in here cover this up and then there's a little slot here and then I just stick it in there and my notepads more of my notepads and then the books that I want to read after of course I read um what do you call it uh, the invisible girl but for the most part looks good my ipad is over there everything just looks proper neat thank you a workable desk now i need to put these away because i was doing my makeup the other day and i did a whole entire beauty what 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 there's my phone i was wondering where my phone was okay let's tidy this stuff up Um, I'm downstairs now. I haven't had my vitamins for the day. So, let's do that. The vitamins that I drink each and every single day, you've got zinc, which is a fact. You need it. you got D. Another fact, you need it. And you got C. These are the vitamins... We all drink at home each day. Mom, dad, sisters, everybody drinks it. 
just do what you can to help boost you against this pandemic. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Itarakimasu. You guys might not be seeing the meat. I did say that I came back from the shops. Um, what I am going to be doing is transferring the meat into uh, large freezer bags because, because I typically don't like meat when it's held in these kinds of containers because they're huge and they take up a lot of space in my fridge. So what I do is I get these and I put them, I take the meat, roll it up in a bunch and put it in these. Large freezer bags, small feel, oh my God, I think I've got the small ones, but it should be fine, it's just me small freezer bags. This should be fine. See? And I love the fact that the ones from Woolies have a little tag thing at the front where you can write mints or vors. You know, sometimes when meat is frozen, you can't really see what kind of meat it is. So, that is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to write this down and write mints. Open that up. In fact, I don't want the meat to go into my nails. Okay, so here you go. Got everything done. The only thing I didn't do was the chicken because typically I cook chicken on a Sunday and then I keep it in the fridge cooked like that so I can warm it up throughout the week. Uh, we've got some bors here. We've got chicken fillets, pork sausage, um, pork rib chops, lamb chops, and stewing lamb, and some mints. And this should get me through, <laughs> knowing me, the next two or three weeks. I typically don't buy meat like this. I buy smaller trays and then I go each week. But it's January. I really don't plan on going to the shops much, especially during this time. I don't want to go to the shops during this time. So I want to have everything in the house already. These are the trays, as you can already tell, like so much space. And I'm going to put this in the fridge and I'll show you everything else that I did get from the shops. Okay? Okay. Home woolies are the tender stem broccoli. Love this stuff. Really do enjoy it. I picked up an orange juice because I added to my smoothies now. Got some uh, uh, bin bags for the bin inside the house. Some tomatoes because I didn't have any. And because we are on shortage of ginger, every single store that I go to doesn't have ginger. And I think we all know why we, th there's a shortage of ginger. But at Woolies, they have crushed ginger. And I use crushed ginger with lemon a bit of cayenne pepper and hot water and I drink that, especially on the days which I've gone out, which is today, so I will show you how I prepare it. I just drink that to just sort of clear my my throat, esophagus, or this whole area just in case, you know? So I drink it once a day. Sometimes when I don't go out and I don't feel like I need to, I won't. But uh, because I can't find the normal ginger, ginger stems, I picked up the crushed ginger works just the same and I drink the whole thing and yeah but I only have one cup because um, it kind of makes the back of my throat all tingly and everything and I don't like that mm -hmm. veggies robot peppers some tomatoes because your girl's gonna be cooking these coming few days spring onions because I love them with everything with eggs with food with meat with everything as a little garnish on top of food love it um, some ham, some ham selection, because sandwiches throughout the day, and just one pack of um, mixed vegetable express from Plenty. That's pretty much it. Oh, oh, no, no, no. My favorite cheese, brie cheese. Pick this up from Pick and Pay. This goes for around 70 bucks. This is for when I'm having my fruit platters or my cheese boards or whatever but like for one so i don't really have it on the board i'll just have it on a plate which is what i fancy having later on today so i'll probably have i'll show you how i do it and then of course um 
fresh peeled garlic. Yep, that's pretty much it. And while I wait for it to cool down on the side, I am going to make my smoothie because I am quite hungry. Um, so yeah, still too hot to drink at the moment, obviously. Oh, but it's very spicy. It's a good drink, but it's very, very spicy. So if you don't like spicy things, maybe minus the kind pepper, but I kind of enjoy it with the pepper. So let's do the smoothie, shall we? All right, so for me, I'll probably be drinking these interchangeably because this is to feed me, to fill me up, and then this is just to clear the things. Um, I'll probably start with this, actually, because I try to drink it as quickly as possible, get it out of the way, and then maybe I'll drink it again before I go to bed. Maybe. Maybe. Mm. All right, so the weather has changed. I'm in a sweater and a top. It's been raining for the past um, two and a half hours. I sat at the table over there, back there, there, and I was editing re-editing a sponsored post that needed to be tweaked um, so that I can drop it tomorrow. Now it is officially two hours later. I don't know what the time is. The time is 10 to 5. 10 to 5. I thought I was going to uh, cook the pork chops steak Thing today I'm not because I've got leftover meat that's in the fridge and I don't see a sense in wasting food so I'm not however right now it is quite cold so I'm making myself a coffee and uh, if you're South African these are beloved South African cookies they are loved. They are in each and every household, especially around the December time. And because I live alone, I'm not going to buy the big one. Every time people buy the huge one, that's like got like so many of them. I just buy this one because it is pretty. And it's got some of my favorite biscuits in them, which are these, got the lemon creams. And I really love these ones up here, which are the ginger ones. And then I just took a bite of that one there. That was awesome. So I just placed three of them onto a little <laughs> side plate. Gonna have that with some coffee. Gonna relax a little bit because while I was editing, sorting out that sponsored video, I edited another one and I re-uploaded. I uploaded both of them onto YouTube. They're still on private. And I feel like I deserve a little bit of a reset. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to make myself some coffee. Probably going to leave this part of the vlog here for today. And um, maybe tomorrow I'll start 
maybe I'll start a new one maybe I'll I'll end this one here who knows but uh, thanks for sticking around okay thank you so much I'm a little bit tired plus Valerie is having me so I just took some pain tablets as well right now but let me make my coffee and I'll check you guys in a little bit okay.